Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. You might remember I did a video the other day where I was kind of complaining about the current state of the Files app on Chrome OS and Chrome OS Flex. Um, all my complaints still stand, but I think there is a definite potential, maybe possibility that things might potentially maybe get better in the future. And uh, so what I did is I hopped into the uh, Chrome flags and I just enabled a few uh, files app related flags that I found. One was called Experimental UI Features. One was Files App Conflict Dialog, right there, which is one I'm mostly interested in. And then uh, Enable Files Trash, I just turned that one on. I've talked about that one before on the channel here. Uh, the Trash one does add a trash right there to the Files app, which is handy. I, uh, I do turn that one on quite a bit. But the other two I hadn't seen before. Oops. Okay. And so the Experimental UI Features, I don't know what that one supposedly does. I've uh, I've looked around. I don't notice anything different or experimental or anything. And also, the file apps conflict dialog does not seem to be something that's working yet. When I was on the uh, current stable version of Chrome OS Flex, which is 111, it did. There's like absolutely no change at all. So I switched over to the dev channel, which is currently on Chrome OS Flex 113, which is what you're looking at here. And now if I try to copy a file from one folder to another that has the same name, it pauses for a moment and then it says preparing and it just does nothing. So maybe behind the scenes, it's actually recognizing now that there's a conflict and maybe this is the part where some kind of dialogue would come up and ask what you want to do. I hope that's what's going to happen. That would um, that would solve one of the one of the biggest problems I have with this files app. Uh, I'm going to cancel that because it just doesn't do anything. And um, and just to be sure, I thought maybe just file transfer is totally borked right now. So I made another file that is not in conflict just to test to see if that still works, and it does. So yeah, I'm going to turn those flags back off because they don't really seem to be working right now anyway. But I don't know. Maybe it's a sign of good things to come. The trash flag has been there for quite a while. I think personally that should be a default, but I don't know if they're ever going to make it a default. And I don't know if this experimental UIs features is supposed to do. Maybe there's something I'm missing. You guys can let me know. I'll tell you what I'd like to see. As I mentioned before and in the other video, I would like you to be able to move a file into a folder and have a window come up that says, do you want to replace, copy, rename? kind of like every other serious operating system has that'd be nice i would also like you to be able to right click on a folder and say open a new window pretty basic over on this side too right click open a new window that or a new tabs if they added tabs that'd be fine i'd personally rather have a new window but tabs are fine too either of those plus the uh, file conflict resolution would go a long way i think there is hope that uh, the files app conflict dialogue could come someday in the future. Got my fingers crossed. Um, and yeah, the, the opening of new windows would go a long way. And there's also some other features that uh, people have talked about on the channel since my last video. For one thing, you should be able to right click on a file and get info. Maybe you should have more than this. Um, in fact, this is more than I actually thought it gave you. But yeah, there's just basics that every other operating system has, Windows, Linux, Mac, uh, that should be here in the Files app. And I know Chrome OS is mostly geared towards uh, people that do everything on the cloud. But now that they're coming out with better and faster devices with Chrome OS on them, such as the HP Dragonfly thing that just came out that everybody is talking about on YouTube, well, there we have a laptop that costs $1,000, you know, and it actually has decent storage and RAM options and a good CPU, you're probably going to be wanting to do some stuff on your actual device instead of having everything in the cloud on something like that. And I think uh, just a few small things Google could do to make Chrome OS a lot better. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's any other cool flags you found and we could talk about them on the channel. But until then, thanks for watching, and I hope we all have a good day. Goodbye now.